So if you reg- so what is it? Has suggested the object has alien origins. He came on this show to say so a while back, even saying the object could be on a mission to release, quote, many probes that could invade Earth. Since then, things have gotten very, very interesting. According to astronomers, 3i Atlas has all kinds of surprises. We've only seen a handful of, of blurry shots that uh, look like a tail is kind of starting to form. There's the unusual chemical signatures. It's producing way more nickel than iron, and scientists don't really know why. And when it comes to size, some estimates say it's about three miles wide. In comparison, Manhattan, it's only about two miles wide, and that is at its widest point. Finally, the very rare trajectory. You got to my next question. Uh, you're talking about trajectories and you know, I follow everything you post, um, and, and I saw you post a few days ago about the wow signal, and I, like, that stopped me in my tracks. For those that don't know, like, uh, the wow signal is, is something that is just a, a historic moment in astronomy. Uh, here's a quick explainer from our friends over at PBS about the mystery radio signal that was detected back in 1977. Watch this real fast. Imagine seeing pages and pages of ones, maybe a three, a, th a two here and there, and then you see 6EQUJ5, right? That was why he said, wow, right? U is 30 times as strong as the noise in the background. Nothing was coming anywhere near that strong of a signal. It, it was kind of a surprise, right? The signal. And so the question was, did this come from some sort of extraterrestrial intelligence that was beaming out radio signals towards us? Okay, so if I understand this correctly, and, and sorry for, uh, you know, uh, trying to read your, your very uh, academic papers and, and, and understand them, but if I understand this correctly, the question that you were posing was whether this very anomalous radio signal that we detected coming from deep in outer space, whether that matched the trajectory that we are now seeing from 3i Atlas, as in, uh, you know, we know which direction it was coming from, and it seems to be coming from the same direction as, as the wow signal, is that right? Yes, to within uh, nine degrees. Uh, on Sunday evening, I decided to check it out be, uh, after a day full of uh, interviews. And uh, it turns out that the two directions of the WOW signal and 3i Atlas are aligned with a chance probability of 0.6%. And uh, I then asked, uh, where was 3i Atlas uh, in 1977? It was 600 times farther than the sun is from the Earth, uh, roughly three light days away. Uh, and so um, uh, the amount of power that was needed to produce that signal is about a gigawatt, the output of a nuclear reactor that we have here on Earth. So it's quite possible uh, to have uh, such a, a nuclear reactor on a gadget that is uh, the width of Manhattan Island. Okay, so so not just nickel, not just massive. You're thinking there's possibly some sort of, of reactor that will generate enough uh, potential energy to blast off a radio signal that we did detect in the night. Uh, and it's uh, moving along the plane of the planets around the sun with uh, a very small probability. It, it looks like its uh, trajectory was fine-tuned. There was a glow in front of the object towards the sun rather than behind it, away from the sun, the way we see it in comets. Mm. And uh, the good news is that it will come close to Mars actually by the end of this week, so we can get more data about it. Uh, it appears to shed the nickel without iron, which is very unusual for comets. So I'm just saying, let's keep an eye on it. Yeah. Keep our eyes. I, I agree. Yeah. Let's keep an eye on it. Um, you mentioned in your study that it could be conducting recon on Earth, but how could it be doing that if it's millions upon millions of